Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we are playing level 369 on a quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, which is a hard level where we have 28 moves to collect 25 jelly. Now, sometimes there are luck levels, and this is one of those luck levels. Um, I don't think skill is that much of a factor, um, at least for the majority of the playing on this level. I think it's more based on luck. We have a fairly constricted board. We don't have that much space. And if the board doesn't cooperate, we're not going to get anywhere. So in this case, my recommendation is use a color bomb booster. It can give you a lot more potential with the board you have. You can concentrate the colors right away, giving you a lot more opportunities for matches and specials, even in the little bit of board space that you have. Now, I don't use boosters in every walkthrough video, and I don't recommend using boosters every level you play. However, I do know that there are some levels that are more difficult and luck-based, and those are the levels that I do recommend using the tools in your toolbox. These boosters are given to you sometimes for free, sometimes you earn them in the minigames, and sometimes you can pay for them with gold bars. Personally, I don't. But my point is, they are the tools in your toolbox used to make these levels easier. Because sometimes, even this early in the game, there are luck-based levels that can be quite difficult. Um, at my stage of the game, I am in the 4000s. My current level of progress is 4041. And at that point in the game, boosters are almost a necessity. The minigame boosters are huge assets. They make very difficult levels um, much less difficult. Not necessarily easy, but much less difficult. But yes, there are definitely levels where a booster is the best way to go. So our 25 jelly are all double thick in this 5x5 five five center area. It leaves us with only the outer two rows and columns to work with. We have cake bombs in which we have um, eight individual slices, which we need to clear in order to clear one layer from the entire board. That will help us with our five layer thick frosting, licorice locks. And we also have this wrapped candy and marmalade in the center. And that's going to be our biggest asset in clearing out these center slices of cake bomb, which we can't reach with manual matches. So I cannot take out purple immediately. If I could, that's absolutely what I would do because it would open up this center wrapped candy. In the meantime, I'm going to try and make other matches in order to get a better setup. I'm going to clear out as many slices of cake bomb as I can manually before using that wrapped candy, before going into action with that color bomb. Now, see here, I, of course it happens when I bring in a color bomb. I played this level a few times before. Um, I haven't brought in a color bomb as a booster yet because I wanted to play it a few times through. Um, I decided it was best and now I get a lucky board. This is luck. This doesn't happen all that often, especially when we only have two rows and columns to work with. But we can create a color bomb with a perfect setup with the blue. Now we have two of them. And I'm wondering here, I could make a color bomb orange stripe combo. However, there's something else I can do. If I take out that licorice lock right there and then bring this color bomb down three, I have a double color bomb combo. Not, uh, now, this would not be possible had I not brought in one color bomb as a booster. The other one was quite lucky. Sometimes if you play a level a certain number of times through, you can get that. Um, but this is the result of bringing in a booster. Like I said, it makes these levels much easier. And in this one, I do recommend it. All right, so it removes one layer of the board, and most of our slices of cake bomb are gone. We only have one more slice in both cake bombs. And we do now have a direct strike on this wrapped candy to take out those slices and strike the frosting two times. Now, two strikes of the frosting with the wrapped candy, two layers removed from the cake bombs. This is putting me in really good shape for my cleanup phase, which I call the last few moves of my level, which I just use to clear out whatever is left after my main work is done. Now, this is only going to be possible if I can send off this purple stripe. 
I may be looking at a reshuffle because I don't really have that much I can do at this point. Luck has to be consistent. We can have good luck and then bad luck the rest of the level. All right, there we go. Our good luck is returning again. And it looks like at most we should have two layers of frosting in some places that we still need to clear out. But the main thing here is now we have board space. We have considerably more open spaces where we now have candy rather than blockers. So it's going to be much, much easier to make matches. All right, sending stuff down to the center of this board. We only have two more layers of that single frosting that is left. Now it is gone completely. We have a great setup here. We have two and two. That's classic color bomb formation with the green. We can bring another green. Ah, oh, man. I thought we could bring another green down the center. It didn't quite work out because the cascading took it away from us. That is what I would do to create a color bomb. However, it doesn't always work. Um, five moves, five jelly. I think we're still going to be able to beat this level. Let's see here. Can create a wrapped candy. That's pretty good. Let's get a little bit of cascading. The cascading took away opportunities, but it can also give us new gray opportunities. All right, going to send off this stripe wrap combo. And it looks like it's going to be a close call. Even with the booster I brought in, it came down to the final turn, and I'm going to get a super sugar crush. There we go. We beat this level on our very last move. All right, so that is how we beat level 369. This was my, I believe, fourth playthrough for recording purposes. One star, 109, 660. Not that great of a score, but I don't really care about stars. That is how we beat this level, with the use of just one booster. Now, my best advice here is, like I said at the beginning, this is a luck level. If you want to beat it and move on to the next level, I would recommend bringing in a color bomb. It makes it much easier. If you have the patience to play it a few more times through, um, wait for a good board, try and capitalize on it, but sometimes it's still not enough. This really is a tricky level. Um, also, remember, the in-game boosters, if you're ever really close, just use a lollipop hammer. If you were stuck and you were down to the point where I was, but you couldn't clear that last jelly on the last move, I would absolutely recommend using a lolly hammer or a switch hand in order to outright clear it or at least set you up so you could clear the jelly and move on. Don't spend your time trying to beat a level without boosters just to say that you did it when you can easily use just one or two boosters and move on. If you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. Same if you want to see more Candy Crush walkthroughs, subscribe to see more. If you are having trouble with any other level of the game, please leave a comment below so I can try and help you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.